Hello YouTube world, it's Hey Keisha and I just wanted to just come here to just encourage someone or encourage you guys. Let me just sit comfortably here. So I just wanted to encourage you guys, like honestly, do not put any limit. Do not limit yourself as to what you're able to do, as to what you can do. Um, do not let anyone limit limits you or tell you what you're able to do or what you cannot do. You can do all things, and this is what I tell myself at times, I can do all things through Christ who has strengthened me. And why am, why am I doing this video? It is because, um, uh, as you know guys, that I have lost my job. I've lost my job and I've been looking for jobs and like I, I was this close to getting something but because of this COVID-19 that's going on right now and all the companies has to close and all like like everywhere is like under lockdown right now as you guys are aware so I was this close and I remember um setting out my resumes and I've been setting out resumes and I told myself that I am not I'm not gonna limit myself because I know that I can make more. I'm not gonna be living from paycheck to paycheck. I wanna be able to um get a job that I can survive off of. I can pay my bills comfortably comfortably and survive off of. So the industry that I am in it pays it really has no cap you can make so much as you um the more and more you learn and the more experience you have you can make so much and um a lot of the positions that i have um, been looking at they're asking for five to ten years of experience now guys i only have like two years experience you can call it one to two years experience so for the five to ten year experience you can make between sixty and ninety thousand. For the one to two year experience, I guess you can make I would say between forty to fifty-five thousand. And I'm like, nah, I'm not gonna limit myself because I need to meet more. So I was on Indeed applying for a job and Indeed has this new thing where they want to tell you that what's on your resume. So for example, if I have two years of experience on my resume and um, an employer posts something that they're looking for five to ten years experience, they would, and I applied for it, they'll be like, okay, no, you only have this much experience. Do you want to go back and search or do you want to continue and applying for this job? Do not let anyone limit you. I went ahead and I applied. I'm like, they're not going to limit me and tell me that my two years of experience is not, it's the same exact thing that I've learned. It's the same exact thing that I've been doing repeatedly for the last two years that I will be doing in this position or in those positions. So I'm like, no, hell no. You're not going to tell me that I only have two years and these, these employers are looking for five to 10 years. Hell no, continue. And I've done it and I realized those are the ones that called me back. I went into an interview and the boss was like, you are what I am looking for. You are exactly what I'm looking for and you are on the top of my list. You, he introduced me to all the employees. He showed me where my desk is going to be. Everything was basically, you got this position, you got this job. And the amount, I asked for the amount that a 5 to 10 years of experience person would make. And because of my confidence that I am capable of doing this job, there, there's more, there's may, there may be other stuff that I have to learn. But you know what? They train you anyways. They have to train you on their system. So if you're a quick learner, I would say do what I do. And um, so I haven't really officially got the position. There was another one 
that I'm trying to get into but my interview I postponed but she was like in like this is the best resume I've ever seen because you have even though I have Lex experience that they're looking for I am one of the person that has the experience like an ex the experience working in the industry so I'm like on top of the this also but that one has been postponed to laugh until after this cool thick thing so I don't know honestly where my future is going right now or if it's what is going in going on in the industry because it's the housing industry and if people are not working and if people cannot afford which is crazy because right now the interest rate is low but a lot of people are losing their jobs and you know it's it, it's i don't even know if this covid thing is for better or if it's for worse but i know my god i know he's doing something amazing for me and he will he is he was opening doors of opportunity. He's, I believe these doors that was opening for me and people are like, yeah, I really like you and you are on top of my list is to show me that, you know what, I don't forget about you. I have you, I hold you close and you are gonna do like, like a lot. And you know what, why I, I would say not to limit yourself because the Bible tells us, and which is what I always tell myself, I can do all things through Christ who has strengthened me. So if you think I cannot do it, that's your business. I can do and I know I can do it as long as I believe there is a God, as long as I pray and I leave it into God's hand. There's, I walk into interview and when I speak, I, su I surprise myself because I'm like, wow like i would iron me like honestly but because i prayed before i go into my interview and yes i use my anointed oil in my hands because those shaking and thing which right now we have to stay away from but i put it on my lips and i'm like god speak through me so yeah i was this close of getting something and this is why i would like to encourage someone not to limit yourself because you can do all that, you can do all once Christ strengthens you. And the other thing is, He does not put a limitation on us. If He's in the midst, He exceeds everything. He exceeds all of our expectation, Ephesians 2.20, and you will always hear me quote that, Ephesians 2.20. He does exceedingly, abundantly, and above all that we will ever imagine so you know just leave it into God's hand and just try to just exceed yourself because everything in this world belongs to him and if you're his child he wants to give his children the best so do not listen to what the devil has to say in your ears and say no you can't do this you can't do that or you don't have the experience to do it or you won't get anywhere in life no rebuke that in the name of Jesus and just lift God up and we will see you through and that's my encouragement for today so I hope you guys have a great day again a great week and a great month and again keep yourself safe and don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share and don't forget to give me some thumbs up see you in my next video